Well, let me make your weekend. Target Global Management Hedge Fund sinks 34% this year as key stocks fall. This is why I really appreciate Bloomberg, right? All the other media will only make an articles about meme stocks falling, meme stocks selling off, meme stocks bad investments, meme stocks bankruptcy, so on and so forth. Only Bloomberg is pointing out how the hedge funds are falling apart. Bada bim, bada boom. Things have gone from bad to worse for Tiger Global Management flagship hedge fund. The vehicle fell nearly 34% in this quarter due to the poor performing stocks and markdowns of private holdings, according to investor letters seen by Bloomberg. The hedge fund tumbled more than 13% in March, according to person familiar with the matter. You know guys, if you are a regular viewer on the channel, I'm making similar videos every single month pointing the average performance of the hedge funds. Individual investors have been losing money starting December. The beginning of the sales, continuing in January, continuing in February, and as you may have guessed, March was not as profitable as a lot of them hope so. As you can see over here, according to Bloomberg, the decline in this particular hedge fund was 7% last year. And this is very important. This hedge fund was extremely successful. As you can see over here, this was the first annual drop since 2016. And yet the media will be focusing on AMC sell-offs. Meanwhile, the five-day chart will tell you that AMC is still up 13%. And if I really want to make a point, I will show you the month chart, which will prove the point that AMC is up 25, very close to 26%. And as you saw from this article, this particular hedge fund is down 34% for the first quarter. If you watched two, three videos earlier on my channel, you know that I've been saying that this particular quarter for a lot of banks and institutional investors will be crucial. This will be very, very bad. A lot of the banks already prepare hundreds of millions of dollars just to recoup some of the losses, just to offset the losses that they have from the Russian exposure and from the growth stocks, from the, a lot of tech stocks, a lot of financials also fell apart. A lot of risky plays such as Peloton were overtaken from non-home economy. People want to go back. People want to do stuff as usual. Look at this. According to Bloomberg, all six of Tiger Global's biggest stock holdings a year end, including JD.com, including Microsoft, have declined this year at almost double digits. For the last Two days, I've been making videos explaining that the market is very mixed, it's very hard actually to, 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 to make the right bet. And the point over here is that, look at this, Tiger Global's long only fund sank about 36% in the first quarter. We're talking about long positions, we're not talking about short positions. Long positions tend to be much less riskier, much less volatile, and they are down 36%. Guys, this is crazy. Now it's time to shift the focus from, from this particular hedge fund to the other hedge funds that are shortening stocks. Just think about how their portfolio looks like, right? We talk about this many times over. You, you provide your portfolio as a collateral very well, right? You provide a portfolio worth $100 million, for example, and you see a sell-off of 36% and your $100 million simultaneously lost 36% of your portfolio. Simultaneously, you have to provide this 36% in cash value or other assets. Uh, you have certain time frame in which you have to do that. Meanwhile, the new transparency rules requires you from the SEC to report these changes in your collateral or in your portfolio value because it's a major decrease, right? Uh, they want to provide you with certain support uh, so you're not going to present a systematic risk on the market. So guys, uh, no matter what they're going to tell me about the, the meme stocks, the short squeeze plays, I'm good. I don't have to do absolutely nothing if AMC is down 20%. But it's not. It's over 20% up for the month. But even if it is down, I still have to do absolutely nothing. I didn't borrow money. I didn't invest someone else's money. I invest my own money. Uh, unfortunately, I don't believe these guys can, can say the same exact thing when they're in these big hedge funds, right? I don't want to be mean or bad, so I'm not going to read the article to the end. I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, and of course, come back for more.